Hello and welcome to the short board on Parsha's bow dedicated to Ilu Nishmas Avi Mori Naftali Ben Yitzchak Isaac. It is adapted primarily from Rabbi Baruch Simon Shlita's Imre Baruch Maimer Gimel from Parsha's bow, as well and also from uh, the Sefer Chafetz Chaim Al Hatorah. The Maimer begins with uh, a thought that relates to the season that we're in Parsha wise. You know Shmos Ber Bo B'Shalach that it's the Pesach, the Geula, the Makos, things that we are familiar with because of that holiday that is still three months away. And the Beis Alevi says, and he was born 1820 and he died in 1892, he says, why do we begin the Seder with the words, Kol Dechvin Yesevi Yifsach, anyone who's hungry, come and eat. And he answers, because we want to start the Seder with the mitzvah of Tzedakah, the mitzvah of Chesed. The reason we want that is because the so that has the power to bring geula, um, even without having the proper proper merit. This fits with something that the Chavetz Chaim, Rabbi Yisrael Meir Cohen, 1838-1933, uh, says uh, in Parshas B'Shalach, Shmos Tesvav Yegimel, Nachisa B'chastcha Amzugalta. With your kindness, you guided this nation that you redeemed. And it, he explains that this means that it's because the Bnei Yisrael made a commitment to several things during their exile. One was that they would not sh change their language, Lashonam. Another thing is that they would commit to do chesed for each other with a specific intention that it would lead to the gula in its merit. And in fact, that's, so he explains then that this is what it means. The chisa b'chasta amzugalta is that through the mida of chesed and achdos that you will, Hashem will guide you to your gula. Now, if it wasn't enough to have the, the power of gula from doing sadaka and chesed, then Rav Simon shares another thing that it was merited uh, for the Bnei Yisrael at that time, and that was it led to them getting wealth. The Biza, they earned the Bizas Mitzrayim because of their tzedakah and the chesed. So how do we, we know this? Uh, it's because it's not just about one aspect of getting out of Egypt, but di various different aspects of the Bnei Yisrael, of getting out of Egypt are, are, are connected. And in Parakid Allah Pasuk Bays, it says, Daber na ba'azne ha'ami shalu ish a man should ask to borrow from his friend, his Rea, or the woman's, her friend, and then they'll get the silver and gold kalim utensils, and they'll be give, Hashem will give um, a favorable view in the eyes of the Egyptians. Now, related to this, the Gra, the Vilna Gon, uh, Rebbe Yo Kramer, 1720 to 1797, he asked a question, on this pasuk, more about Kama, which Daf Lamed Vav Amid Beis, which was only a few weeks ago for the Daf Yomi people, we learned that shore of a Jew that gores a shore, an ox of a Mitri, is not obligated to pay his patur, and the reason is because of the pasuk in Mishpatim Chafal of Lamed Hey, the Chiyagof Shor Isre Esra Shor Reehu, that when a the shore of a person will strike his friend. The ox of his friend, we learn Re'ehu Adrasha, his friend, Veloshal Mitchum, meaning that Mitchum are not considered re, re, the, the Re'ah. So, what does our Pashat mean when our Pashat would seem to be saying they're borrowing from the Egyptians from Re'ehu? So, he answers that it doesn't mean it does mean the Jews. It means that from the merit that the Jews, as we said before, that they, they committed to each other, that they would lend each other and do different chesed with that. Hashem allowed them to borrow and get favor with the, the Egyptians. And uh, that's why it's, you know, Aliyah Deza, Yishalu, Ben Mitzrayim, Klikesav, they were able to ask the, because they asked each other and granted chesed for lending to each other, doing chesed, kindness, so therefore they were able to do kindness, they were able to ask, they were up to asking from the Egyptians, uh, and Hashem gave the Egyptians a favorable view about them. And so we see there here, that it's not just the gula, but it's other aspects of the gula process that you merit, merit by uh, having stuck in chesed. And whenever you have mercy on one of Hashem, Hashem's creature, creations, then Hashem gives that person mercy. And I think this also could answer um, Chavitz, a question that we have. Chavitz Chaim says, why when we say uh, bracha chrona, a blessing after eating something that is, is not a mazonos, is not a hamotzi, that you're saying a bori nefashos rabos, that it says, Barayna Fasos Rabbas for Chesonan. That Hashem created many souls with their deficiencies. 
that why did Hashem create the deficiencies in man? So Chavis Chaim says it's because Hashem wa specifically wanted people to have to live together and do each other kindness, help each other out, fulfill where the other person was lacking. And uh, and so that's the med that's why we're thanking Hashem for making these deficiencies. When we resolve that when we, that we are showing chesed to our fellow Jews and we're showing achdus to our fellow Jews that this should be zochet to be a merit to end the war as well as bring the geula shalema. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.